When you are about to get outside to dirt bike, hitting the trails or the MX track, or when you are sledding, hitting up the backcountry or riding those trail systems, what is your mindset going into the day? Are you thinking that you need an escape? Maybe you need to escape reality. That you need this day to leave life for a split moment. Maybe you need a reset or maybe you need a day just to be. For those of you that are new here, hello and welcome. I am Angelisa, a dirt bike enthusiast who loves to share stories and products when it comes to dirt biking and sledding. It wasn't until just recently I was mid-ride on a dirt bike trail, dirt biking. (laughs) I was riding with a friend who just got into dirt biking this year and was also a snowboarder back in the day, many moons ago. We had conversations and shared relatable adventures and emotions when it came to our sports. And one thing she brought up was the feeling of being grounded. She mentioned to me that the reason why I love dirt biking so much is because I have the sense of feeling grounded. I am one with the earth. I am living in the present. I am focused on what is happening before my eyes and really channeling my efforts into bettering myself physically and mentally. Now, here is a quick Google of the meaning for grounding. A therapeutic technique that involves doing activities that ground or electrically reconnect you to the earth, which is also known as earthing. I was actually quite blown away that my friend could point out exactly what dirt biking meant to me, and it really got me thinking a whole lot. I actually sat with this for a while, and I journaled on this for a few weeks. The feeling of grounding myself was just it. It was exactly what I was doing and still do when I get out to ride. I used to say that sledding and dirt biking was a way for me to escape and it gave me the throttle therapy that I needed. Now, that is still the case. However, I feel that my mindset has changed slightly. When I first started out as a sledder and dirt biker, I created a day for me to get out of the house, hence the reason why I started Brat Babes, which was and still is a social gathering to get out and ride and meet other like-minded women. I had a baby at the time and felt I needed to get away to be me again. Gaining a new title mom was very heavy for me and I needed something to remind me of me to be a beginner again and learn something new and focus on that new thing and myself. Over the years, I still have my days to ride and often call this my self-care day. I ride with my friends that make me feel good, that make me want to progress and focus on something that betters myself in every way possible. Some may call it an obsession, but I call it grounding, living in the moment, living in the present, and this couldn't be any more accurate. Why am I telling you this? I think it's very healthy to have hobbies. In fact, I support having hobbies that involve you time. I believe that in order for us to have a healthy balance in life, we all need to get out and do something for ourselves. Instead of escapism, I invite you to have the mindset of grounding and being in the present moment. Because whether you're getting out and doing something for yourself, eventually those hobbies are going to turn into family and friend time and no longer will you feel the need to escape. You're going to feel the need to ground yourself, connect with people that make you progress in your sports, people that you trust and people that you love. And now my favorite ride days are the ones that I do with my family and of course my close friends as well but it wasn't until I started riding with my girls and my husband and we were actually doing it all together it became my favorite days so I no longer think about escaping rather than grounding 
So these are just my thoughts <laughs> I thought I would share with all of you. And uh, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Until next time, wrap your little hearts out, keep killing it safely, and I will catch you on the next episode.